I thought I would uh, go over this Tektronix 545 oscilloscope from approximately 1957. I've had this scope since 1992 and although I did power it on briefly at that time it has not been powered up since and I would not do it now without a, a total capacitor replacement especially of all the uh, oil and paper capacitors that these type of scopes tend to have. So this was a pretty high-end uh, scope in its day. I believe these were uh, something like 30, 30 megahertz, which was quite a lot. Um, and this one has delayed sweep. And we also have a, a dual trace uh, plug-in unit for it. So there's a lot of features on this scope, and I'm not going to get into all of them, because you can read about these on any number of websites. This one's in pretty decent original condition. Um, I got it from a a surplus electronics place back back in '92, and I didn't pay a whole lot for it. It was more like a collection type thing. The scope has removable side panels on it in order to access the interior components for uh, maintenance calibration. There's a cooling fan on the back. Um, your power cord plugs in at the bottom here with a fuse. And then there's a, a area to plug in an external Z-axis um, if you want a Z-axis or blanking. Uh, very similar side panel on, on this side. And we have two carry handles on the top. So this is what's known as a brown aeroscope. I'm not sure exactly why it's a brown aero because the paints are is kind of a battleship gray actually. Um, the earlier ones have a different, a uh, little bit different chassis design. And in another video, I'll go over one of those that I have that actually is in working order, and we'll see some of the functionality of that one. Let's take the side panels off and look at the components on the inside. So we have these convenient half turn half turn screws here. And then the panel just slippily flips over and we can drop off. So this is a 545 with the higher bandwidth and the delayed sweep. In order to get the higher bandwidth they had all of these uh, push-pull tube stages in the vertical amplifier. And then we have a, a discrete delay line made up of discrete capacitors and inductors that feeds from there over to the CRT. The high voltage for the CRT, which is about 10 kilovolts, comes in right there. Uh, many, many components underneath. Let's go over to the other side and remove that side panel and we can take a look at that. So on this side panel we have the power supply for the main, the whole scope is on the bottom and in the upper upper area here we have the uh, horizontal sweep chassis and the high voltage rectifiers and power supplies under these covers. The delayed sweep function adds a lot of things and they have this swing out sub chassis with even more vacuum tubes in it. And under here, you can see the uh, various components. This one here has some uh, sil uh, silicon rectifier diodes on the power supply. And there's a cooling fan in the back with an air deflector. A very large transformer here. All right. Um, so this is the uh, circa 1957 Tectonics 545 oscilloscope. Hope you enjoyed the video.